Hello, today is the uh, 1st of uh, November 2011, and since November the 9th of 2009, there has been 42 situations in which the Dow has lost 1.4% or greater in a single day. 43 situations where oil has lost 2.5% or greater in a single day. 40 situations where gold has went down a percent and a half or greater. 44 times that silver has had down days of 3% or greater, and 44 times that TLT, a bond ETF, has had 1.5% up days or greater. Now, it seems that when we have global sell-offs, you'll see the Dow down pretty big, and oil's going to be down, gold's down, silver's down, and the bond market's usually going to be up, as would the currency market, which is the case today. Whether we will make the third situation where all five happen in one day is yet to be seen. And I thought it was going to be more, which is the reason why I did the uh, calculations today. Because I thought there would be more than two times when this has happened, but this is it. Since November 9th, 2009, there has only been two situations where all five occurred in the same day. These are the days. And the month is now over. The average price for silver in the month of October was $32.01. So, therefore, the trend line analysis, something like this. But I guess, I suppose we could maybe draw a parallel line like this. And that's the current uptrend. Within the six hour silver chart, which is not adjusted towards inflation, it's a short period of time, we have managed to have ourselves a correction within this trend where we have now made a higher low and you expect the next move here to be higher than this level. Will it be this bottom point here that we encountered today? Maybe, but tops and bottoms are known after the fact. But we have had ourselves a correctionary phase. If the market continues to rally high, then we know that 32 and low change is the previous higher low. And the next time we retrace, we re the next time we, we retrace, and to make it a bullish factor, you're gonna, going to need to find a higher low. But for now, we're in this current short-term downtrend within the entire run of an uptrend because of the fact I can connect these lows together and it's still intact. On the daily chart, we can see that the movement has brought us back to this uh, previous line here at the 31.92 mark, pretty much a pierce above this level. We didn't make it up to this 36 uh, 15 level with little retracement because this last retracement is definitely significant uh, noteworthy that is there's a higher low in here from this low and then that was higher from this low so on the daily chart what's important to make that higher low is that it would be the third consecutive higher low and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens but what I think is important to note is if you make a higher low and you start to struggle and you come back down to it with a lower high, then the odds would state that you're going to make a new low. But once again, wait until you get to that area before something like that will come into play. Right now, the market is down 2.84%. So I'm not sure if we'll have a 3% down day as the market has rallied about 4% in the last couple of hours. And that's because of the major capitulation, short-term capitulation, on the silver market. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great day.